Hello, good evening. Well, six o'clock, you know what time that is. That means it, it is a one day special time. Yes, it is the launch of a brand new one day special. The fabulous Lou is here. Hi, Lou. Hello. Lovely to be working with you again. I know, I know, it's great. Pens and us seem to go together, don't they? We're, uh, <laughs> honestly, we're like peas in a pod when it comes to pens. But this time we're talking Brunzeel. I'm going to go with that. OK, go with it. Go with it. I Sounds beautiful the way you pronounced it as well. I'll do. I might I might flourish the more that the day goes on <laughs> or the hour goes on. But um, are you able to tell us a little bit about the background of the company? Brunswick have been around since 1948. Right. And they're a Dutch based company and they're within the Royal Talons family. Ah. So Royal Talons, as you know, had a great set of names. Mm. Sakura, Ecoline, yep. for once Amsterdam and obviously Brunzil, but they go, you know, they're their own brand in their own right. Yes. Now, within the brand, they've split it down, so we have a children's range, okay. we have what they call a college range, and tonight we're looking at what they call their creatives mm. range. Okay. And they want people just to doodle, to draw, yes. to colour, and just have fun. Not necessarily, you know, to create, just mm -hmm. create for you, just, just yeah. have fun, share what you do. Yeah. Well, regardless of what it is. That sounds good to me. So, I mean, 1948, that just says about the testament of the quality mm. of this company. Yeah, for, to be around for so long and yes. to be in the art market or within the art genre for mm. such a long time and to have such a broad spectrum absolutely of products mm. with, underneath their umbrella, not just uh, what we have on tonight. So it shows you, yeah. They have a little bit of everything for everyone. That's what we like. Now, we've got a corker of a deal for you here. You have got 72 of your fine liner brush pens here. Uh, they are, there is an absolute array. This is like the creme de la creme. We're pretty much, are we talking the full range that they do? Yeah, this is the full 72 colours that wow. they do. Um, so that, so, so you, you go from the lightest right up to the darkest, so we can go from the really beautiful light. Mm -hmm. Now, there are two different nibs. So you've got a brush one end. And yeah. If you look at the pen, I was going to say to you, you'll see it's thicker one end yes. and thinner the other. Right. The thicker end is the brush. Mm -hmm. And the thinner end is the um, fine liner. Oh, that helps. That helps to you for you to get you. Your... So you've got Can the you beautiful brush nib there. And now the brush nib is designed, you know, if you do your brush lettering, colouring, um, it's a dye-based ink, which means yeah. we can watercolour out with it. Mm -hmm. We, you know, colour on top of each other. And then you've got the um, fine liner, which is a 0 0.4 on a really beautiful plastic nib. Um, and it, it's a qu high quality nib. And they're for your finer details. You know, put your outlines to it. Mm -hmm. You can still colour with fine liners yes. as well. You, you, you don't have to just use them for outlines, which people think. They've gone for triangular. Yes. So it's non-roll off the desk. And one of the things I really like, and I know it's really silly, silly things, the lids fit inside each other. Wait, so wait, do you mean if I take this one, wait, 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 the other way? Oh, doesn't matter. Oh, like that, is that what you mean? Well, yeah, but so when you take, say if like you're using one end as the brush, yeah. you can put that onto the opposite end of the fine liner okay. and vice versa, even though the, the, the actual um, lids themselves look like they shouldn't work that way. No, okay, well, I mean, you're going to demo this for us <laughs> as well, aren't you? Just Because so, I'm thinking, I'm not sure I'm doing this right, but you... Yeah, okay, sorry, yeah. Ross is like, you're not grasping it, but you, you'll show us when we, yeah. in fact, could you show us? I think yeah. we've got the camera there in place for you. Okay, so if I, just gonna, so we've got the, the brush, so if I was working with the brush, I can put the lid down, oh, let's do it that way, I can put the lid like that, and that's on oh, the fine that liner. Way. I thought you meant take two but, pens. No, so oh, well. if I then <laughs> wanted to use the fine liner, yep. I can take it off and I can put it down that end. And they've, got they've done it so both the lids fit inside each other, even though, when you see, they're actually different size lids. Right, got you. So Sorry. to me, you know, it's, it's silly things like that when you when you're creating and stuff, and you have your lids out everywhere. Yeah. I don't lose them, or they don't roll off the table yeah. or anything. And, and that was it. They just wanted it so it didn't roll. It just stayed put. Excellent. Oh, you know. Or, of course, like me, you can build one really, 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 Which... really, really long pen. Uh, let's come back to the colours then, um, because you really do have a beautiful array. Um, you've got all of your neutrals. You've got, I, I mean, look at the set of greys. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, I know, excited about <laughs> greys. But you've got warm greys, you've got cool greys in there. So that's a totally different look. You've got the browns, you've got so many greens. Mm. It's unbelievable. And you've got like a semi-fluorescent one. 
the range of blues because the greens then dip into turquoises yeah and then that goes into the blue so you've got all of those mm -hmm. and then purples pinks reds mm. oranges yellows and then you've got a really um i would call them like skin tony sort of colors but you've the lightest color there it's fantastic for um, adding really subtle shading yes. within it. But like I said, you can do tip to tip blending because mm -hmm. you can watercolor with them. Yeah. It means you can then create, and you know, your palette just goes on and on and on and on with them. But you've got absolutely every single color you could possibly want. Yes. And probably a little bit more besides. And we've also got the sketchbook, which is pretty much an A4 um, yeah. sketchbook. Now, the, the sketchbook is 140 GSM, but I'm going to say the paper, when you feel, I know, I know it sounds silly touching paper, but the paper feels a lot more quality than it is, and I, I use and abuse mine. Now, yeah. each of them, you can't really see here, each of the um, is a signature. So what I've done is I've taken an older book of mine and I've ripped it apart for okay, you. Okay, right. <laughs> okay, so what I wanted to show you was, if I take that there, that each of these parts is all sewn together and they're each little signatures. So I, I, I think there's about 12 of them off the top of my head, maybe a bit more. Mm -hmm. And then they're sewn and joined together. And then finally, they just put this on the top because that's where your ribbon would have been. Yeah. But it was just to show that, you know, they're not glued in pages. They are each separate little signatures and each of the signatures are then joined together. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Uh, now you've done a very, very nice set of swatches for us. I don't know how long it took you, but we thank you for it. Um, so. Is the top three using the brush pen? Yeah, it's to show you that if you use the brush on its side, you know, the thickness, and then it was just using it as is, if it makes sense, and then a really fine line, and then the, the really fine line underneath it is the, um, the fine liner itself. Yes. But it was just to show you how much you could get from the brush nib, and, at, you know, how many colours you've got there mm. that, you know, can work together. Uh, it is, it's... it's a pure rainbow. Absolutely. I actually had to put mine in a rainbow order just in case Paola was watching because I know that's <laughs> <laughs> That's how I work, to be yeah. fair. Me too. Um, now, we've got some samples, but before we get into the samples, I just want to say what we've done is popped at the bottom of the screen how much it would be for the 72 fine liner brush pen set by themselves. That's 59 95 So when you think that you've now got the sketchbook included, the A4 size sketchbook, uh, you've got a £25 saving. So we have brought it right the way down to £47.90. So that is your one day special price. Now, it will be dispatched from the 6th of December. That's just over two weeks, but it should be here in time for Christmas, everybody. So you, it will come to you in this fabulously wrappable box. It's a metal tin. Yep. I mean, it's, uh, it, which I think is absolutely, you know, it, it's not plastic. It's yep. a metal tin. And each of the trays then sit inside the metal tin. And if I might as well open my tin, might sure. I? Yep. If that shows you. Okay, so each, the, and you just literally pick them up, you've got two little, little holes either side, and they just stack perfectly. How delicious is that? I know. And it closed up, and it's metal tin. But also on the metal tin is all the colours within the tin, so they've actually given you a colour swatch oh, that's on the so actual good. tin itself. Yeah. So you've got all the different colours you've got there. So you can see dark, light, um, you know, ones that will work together if you're looking at your colour wheel. But then the graphics. I know. Isn't they always that... give you lots of inspiration, don't they? It is, but it also gives you an idea of, you know, pick and mix your colours. Different colours that you don't think to go together Absolutely. suddenly do go together. Really nice. Let me tell you, that tin uh, of pens is way better than a tin of chocolates and it's going to last you a longer time and also better for the hips. Um, <laughs> now, you've also got... <laughs> You've also, I mean, you've done for us some amazing samples. Look at the detail, the fine scales on this dragon and how finely, if we, um, can you see even two colours in one scale that you've been doing there? That's absolutely fascinating. Oh, we're coming in. Good, just so you can see there's reds in there. This is on one scale. You've got yellows and oranges. It's absolutely phenomenal on that sample. The background has also been watercolored with the same color pens as well. Right. So I can use the same pens to do as many techniques on one card. Nice. And then, of course, not just for cards, but you've done some journals for us. 
Oh, look, I haven't got this upside down, have I? No, we're all right. Um, so loads of doodling and then, um, so you can pull it out, can you, with a bit of yep. water? Yeah, with a bit of water. Um, the ink does dry very quickly. If you really wanted a really cool watercolour effect, I would put it on a block and pick it up with a paintbrush or a water brush pen. Amazing. And then here we are, we've got this one. Look at the intensity. So you can leave an intensity of colour as well, can't you? You can. I mean, that one there, I've just doodled through a stencil. Right. And then just, you know, loosely coloured it. And then it just shows you how the greys help lift the background up. Yes. So just to show you in lots of different ways. Nice. Um, it was just trying to use as many of the colours as I possibly could. Yeah. <laughs> Look what you've done here, how cool is it? And again, look at how fine the strokes are. And I just wanted to do something totally, up it's upside down. Uh, I just oh, wanted to sorry. do, it's all right. <laughs> something totally abstract that, that wasn't pre-arranged, just to show you all the different thinness of the cut, uh, pens that you could get really fine, like you said, detail with it. But then I've put glossy accents on the top or you could put and a Sakura glaze pen. Yeah. So you can bring in all those techniques as well mm -hmm. with them. Oh, I like what you've done here. Things that light up my life. And I just want, you know, that was just using the yellows because we have a, a lovely sort of fluorescent yellow mm -hmm. in there. So, you, you know, you can use, just stick to one colour palette and just add a pop. Yeah. And then you've done it that way as well. Amazing. And then we've got one more here that you've done for us. Um, and again, just look at all of that vibrancy. But then you can take it to make it be really soft. Yep, you can... Uh, You've got stronger colours, lighter colours, um, so you can, so that could have been a lot lighter if I'd chosen lighter colours, but yeah, like you say, you've got the vibrancy to do as you want with them. Nice. Now, Charmaine's emailed in. <laughs> yeah. Can I say happy birthday as well, Charmaine? Happy significant birthday, Charmaine. Oh. I'm going to rub that bit in. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure she'll really appreciate that. But bless her. She's emailed in to say that she can't believe the price of these and she paid something similar and she didn't get the book. Oh, and you're now thinking, who do you need to get this bundle for to give to as a gift? Mm. Yes. There Definitely. you go. Oh, she's also saying, what's she saying? Miss Samurai Alex, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and what, Lou? Cheever's Lou. Do you know what this means? Oh, probably. And then... Oh, I don't know what she's saying. Oh, uh, Charmaine, you'll have to email in. Although, why are you emailing in? Go and have a lovely birthday. <laughs> Bless you. Um, thank you very much, Charmaine. And yes, my samurai umbrella is with me. Right, so <laughs> if you want to go for your one-day special, brilliant price, um, it's £47.90 for all 72 of your pens, plus you are getting, I mean, double-ended pens as well, plus you're getting the sketchbook, Really nice large space to cover. We are already 10% of the stock gone of your one day special. £25 saving, not to be sniffed at. 377843. Now, if your budget doesn't stretch for the full 72, we do have different ways for you to buy. First off, then, we've got the 24 set. Lovely jubbly. So, details just coming onto the screen. Um, 24 of them uh, out of the 72, aren't they? Yeah, those colours there. Uh, it's only £12.95. So if you want to dip your toe in, or if you want to get this again as a stocking filler for somebody... Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, because yeah. that's all I'm thinking about at the moment. Like yeah, or someone who's a bit of a stationary geek. Yes, that would be nice. And for, and for your journals and your planners. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I mean, I, I would have a set for marking. Yeah. And at school, I like my I like a traditional diary, and each colour mm -hmm. I use a different colour to signify different events or different yes. things. Yeah. Genres like that. So that's only twelve ninety five. That's ever so good. Uh, Seven nine two three eight zero. Then we've got a forty eight pack. Here it is coming onto the screen. Okay, this is £31.95 with an £8 saving. Uh, 508685 is your item number. Lovely jubbly. And then also we've got a pick and mix. Now you're choosing any three and there's six different options for you. And you're... Really? Is that right? Only eleven eighty-five for any three sets. And there's six in a set. That doesn't seem right to me, but there you go. Um, £11.85 and 85 pence, and you're choosing. Now, there are the different options, aren't there? So this one is Tokyo. This one's Venice. Oh, I love all the names. Mm. Marrakesh. New York. 
Oh, that one says Amsterdam. That one's Amsterdam. That one's Marrakesh. That makes more sense, actually. Mm. I thought we'd already said New York. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. All right. right, Tokyo. Rio de Janeiro. Venice. Amsterdam. Marrakesh. And that one's New York. Anyway, have a little look on the drop down box and just pick the one that you want. 797 738 is your item number. Right, shall we see these in action, Lou? Right. One I... day special is absolutely flying out the door. And if you've got any questions, because you never mind, do you, that if people say, hey, can it do this and this, you don't mind even if it blows up? Yep. <laughs> Basically, no. Cool. Right, I thought rather than going to a demo straight away, I'll give you some ideas of what the pens can do. So if I just grab, I'm just going to grab an orange. So the intensity, I just wanted to show you, you know, so this is the orange going down. And it, it's vibrant, it's really bright. So if you're in, now I can't do brush lettering. So anyone who can, I apologise now. So you can do a really fine line. Okay, so you can yep. do your brush lettering if that's what you want to do. If I want to grab, let's grab, I'm going to grab a yellow and a blue. You can do your tip to tip. Mm -hmm. So whatever colour you put on the bottom. I love this because I always so, think to myself, are you going to ruin the nibs? No, I mean, the longer you leave the pen on, the more ink that goes. Yep. If I turned the pen around and put it both sides, it means I've got more intensity of colour. Sure. Um, and you don't at all ruin it. So if I just go... Oh, look at that green. And then because the I've yellow. gone both sides. Oh. And... But the nib now has gone back, or well, there's a little bit of blue there, it's gone back to being yellow. Fabulous. So you, you can do all of those tip to tip with it. They've got a lovely juicy flow to them, They have. They? I mean, the, the, the colour goes on just so wonderfully. Oh, they I love the blue, sorry, I had to go there. <laughs> and then you've got the fine liners. So you can do all your different drawings if that's what you want to do. You can do your doodles. I'm not going... Just to show you, you can get really quite fine, fine lines as mm -hmm. well. You know, you can get really quite detailed. You can colour with them if you want to. Let's put yeah. that there. I'm going to be good and keep them in colours for the moment. Now, the other things you can do with them. Now, they can be water-based. Now, this paper isn't water-based paper. Okay. So I have brought some watercolour paper with me. Now, the reason I did that was I just really wanted to show them off as their watercolour best. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. Now, if you're going to watercolour with them, these are a dye-based, uh, but it does dry quite quickly. So to get the best out of them for watercolouring is put them on a block or plastic, mm -hmm. acetate, and a, a water brush pen. So I'm just going to pick up some of the colour. Sure. Let's put some water come through would be a good idea. All right. There we go. So, and we've got the intensity of the colour. Mm. So if I put the same colour down, so that's now as a watercolour. So if I put the same colour here, you can wow, see... Wow, look at the difference. You can see how you can now have the difference in the depth of that colour and then mm -hmm. watercolour it out. So you can do all your watercolour techniques that you want to do with it. Another thing you can do with them, if I move that out of the way, is if I grab... Oh, I can't make a decision. Let's go for that one. So if you get a, a stamp, I'm going to go... Let's go for some colours. So let's go for that one. You can do... You can, because they're a dye-based ink, I can now do multicoloured stamping with them. So sure. if you've got different stamping, I've gone for a nice butterfly, because why not? Why not? Yeah, let's go for a blue. So you can now, I could have put lots more colours on, I'm just going for two colours for the moment. So if you've got a detailed or even a flower stamp, mm -hmm. and you want to put all lots of different colours in, you can do. Yeah. So I can now... stamp with it and Ooh, I can I like now that. and I can now cut that if there's a little bit of ink left on it I'm just going to do a quick spritz yep I think I put a bit too much water but that doesn't matter and you'll get a nice lovely watercolor effect yeah so you'll get a nice watercolor effect with it so you can you know you can do that so if you've got something like I won't do a whole background but if you've got something like a big background stamp mm. you can now lay down lots of the different colors like to that. make a color background yeah which means then when you're creating your piece whether a card or whatever you know all the colors you've used mm. will actually work yeah you can do the same technique as I've done there I, on a jelly plate so I can get the pens put the layers on a jelly plate mm -hmm. and print straight away spritz and I can make my backgrounds that way nice so the pens 
it was just to give you an overview the pens can do so much for you and cover so many different types of styles of crafting oh it is i could go on you know i've got loads sitting there that you know you could do so you can have great fun it's great you know for every ability you yeah. don't you know it can be from the very young to the very old there is something that each of the pens can do for each of us nice can i ask you a question certainly and this is coming from louisa hi louisa good evening now you, you're obviously very keen about these pens because she's got already this whole 72 set of the um, fine liner brush pens mm -hmm. she's also spotted on the website though the fine liner set the like the pure fine liner set of the 24 she would like to know, are they the same colours that she's already got? Yes. They are? Yes. Okay. All they've done is, for people who didn't want the brush nib and just want to do the fine liners, yes. they've just done them separately as the fine liners. Okay. But yes, they are the same so colours. So basically, with her 72 set, she's already got this? Yes. yes. Okay. But w well worth asking. What I have to say, Louisa, if you fancy showing any of your artwork, if oh, you've yes. got all of these pens, you can send your pictures to studio at thecraftstore.com because we love seeing them. But that was a good question. Thank you, because I'm sure lots of other people will be thinking that. Now, your one-day special, we are now 15% of the stock gone in the first 20 minutes, and we've got a deep stock. We're getting busier and busier. I can't believe the deal we've got for you. It's a beautiful array of pens um, with your neutrals through to the greens. You've got all of those wonderful blues through purples, through pinks, then yellows. We can get, even go into some skin tones. Um, and you also get the, nearly knocked it, you also get the, um, it's pretty much, it's just a smidge off A4, but who's counting a couple of millimetres between friends, right? Um, now it works out at 66 pence per pen. And that's excluding, yeah, the uh, sketchbook. Right, 66 pence per pen. And it will come to you in this very, as I keep going on about, wrappable box, gift box. This will make somebody's Christmas. This will make their eyes light up. Um, yes, and this will keep them quiet as well during Christmas because they'll just be playing with all of the different pens and all of the different techniques. So 15% of the stock gone. We've got a whopping £25 saving. Uh, and it's just £47.90. 377843 is your item number. Oh, OK. Also, sorry, we're going to activate FlexiBuy. It should be on FlexiBuy, so we're going to do that for you. Um, Lou, do you know how many... <laughs> you just happily carry on. Do you know how many um, pages are in our lovely 80. book? 80. Do we know the weight of it at all? 140 GSM. Thank you. Brilliant stuff. So it's really going to take those pens. It is. And it's, the cover isn't card. It's mm -hmm. actually got like a, a leatherette on oh, the top it? of it. If you have a feel. Ooh. Oh, yes, it is, isn't it? Um, and again, look at the, oh, look at the inspiration on the front oh, no. cover. Beautiful. But it, it just shows you all the different colours. And they've, this was all the graphics for all of the Brunzeal products have actually been made using Brunzeal products. Right. It's so beautiful. It's a, the people they've hired to actually do all the different graphics haven't used anything else other than mm -hmm. the that. fine liners Amazing. and the brush pens. There we go. Thank you, Lou. Uh, so please do check out your baskets. Uh, 377843 is your item number. Yes, Flexi is now activated. Two payments of 23.95. Wow, you can't get better than that. So on your first instalment, once you've paid it, we will send this lovely, gorgeous, colourful bundle out to you. And so you should get it in time for Christmas. It's being dispatched by the on the 6th of December. Great stuff. And I mean, that's even better, Lou. I know. Just your first instalment, £23 and some change. I know, it's, oh, I've already earmarked one for yeah. someone. I yeah, know. there you go. <laughs> Should we carry on then, Lou? You're happy to? Yeah. Okay, so just to give you some ideas. Now, an A4 sketchbook, I know we work on a normal A4, but I wanted to actually say to people, let's have a play with it in a different way. Now, I've started off by just doing um, a pencil line, and all I've done is I've just taken my Orbis and I've just drawn Ooh. around my different circles yep. to create. So this is going to be the starting point of a mandala. Let's put you out of the way. And then what I wanted to show was that you don't actually have to cap that like that. So if I suddenly... I can now create... Obviously at home I would spend a little bit more time. Let's see. I have to go back on myself to do that bit there. 
Yeah. No, I like where this is going because you showed me a sneak peek earlier on. <laughs> it's really cool. Right, so, and I've got that little bit there, so I've just got to turn my book. So we'll lift that bit up there. So now I can create a decorative page. So, so now, you know, why do you have to have, so this is now down a corner. So then I thought I could do exactly the same mm -hmm. again and again. And to keep my lines in the same place, I just drew a pencil line on the spine. Oh, okay, yeah. On the top and the bottom, and then just put my ruler so I now know that yeah. this will all be on the same diagonal. So you don't think you just have to work on a square page. Mm -hmm. So I carried on from there. So I'm working in two sketchbooks. So I can show you one. Nice. And then do the other, if that makes sense. Absolutely. So then I then oh, look at this. started off doing a, a mandala design and using the different pens to colour. So we'll just, I won't colour it all, but we'll make a start just doing some of it. Now, this is where you can get... I was saying that you don't necessarily have to do full colouring. OK. So I'm just going to pick there. So all I'm going to do in the centre of these sort of li line designs is just some little flicks. And look how fine that is. You can really get into the diddiest of details. I have to say, because you know how much I love colouring, Yeah. Me, there are some colouring books where it's so fine, the detail is so mm. fine, that I'm actually put off by it. I know but, exactly what you mean, but yes. But whereas when you've got these pens, wow, you can, the tiniest detail you could pick up. And, and yeah, and, oh, like you so say, you can make the tiniest little detail there, the tiniest little dots. But... People are put off colouring because, you know, they think it's got to be perfect. And I think that's just the pressure we put on ourselves rather than just 100%. go with it. Yeah. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the lighter blue. Now, I'm not even going to colour to the top because if I leave a little bit of white, I've given myself a free highlight. So, you know, why worry? Mm -hmm. So we'll do that like that and really quickly now I've created those together so yeah. now let's go with and all I've done with this one let me have a think let's do this way I um, you know when you just think what shall I do so all I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the yellow which is quite light to start with but this is just my base color that I want to put down mm -hmm. and I know we all work differently light to dark dark to light yeah um, What's your preference? I'll do either. Oh, it depends okay. actually on the project I want to do. Fair enough. Um, so this one here, I just wanted to put a little bit of light colour down. So then I, when I put the orange on, the orange stood out. Mm. I know the orange will still stand out, but I just wanted it to stand out just a little bit more. Lovely. Um, quick stock update, if I may, because we are a quarter of the stock gone of our one day special. Only 28 minutes in, we've got 72 beautiful pens here, uh, double-ended, you've got your fine liner and your brush nib end, and then you've also got your beautiful sketchbook with uh, 80 pages in, 140 GSM. If you went for the, for the 72 set itself, it would be 59.95. That's at the bottom of your screen. Don't do that. Go for your one day special because then you'll get your sketchbook in there. You've got a 25 pound saving and you've got it on Flexi Buy. Two payments of 23 pounds and 95 pence. So a quarter of the stock gone. Either this is a gift for yourself or this is perfect for Christmas. I don't know about you, Lou, but I really need to up my game with my Christmas present shopping <sighs> now. I've been terrible. Oh, I, mm, 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 <laughs> I love that little mumble. I haven't done anything. Yeah. You know, when you just go, mm, I'd like to say I have, but I haven't. But you were talking about the finest detail. I can now take, so this is the black here, and I can go into that tiny little bit there and just add the detail. And I'm just leaving the fine white outline because it just makes it stand out. Yep. Yeah. Now, one of the things with the pens, which I really like, if you let them dry, um, they'll classically build up on top of each other. If you overlay the colours whilst they're still wet on each other, um, they blend and they merge a little bit more. Yeah. So that's... So I'm just going to do that one there, and then we'll just do this white line here. OK. Yeah. So we carry on building and building and building this until it's... You know totally colored mm. but that was just to show so you can use the brush pens to add in your little you know your height your main color but still do mm -hmm. all your um little bits and pieces over the top so where i've got these done now yeah i can if i want to i can sit here and go 
and add on the top now. And because they're not wet, these ones are dry, each colour will stand out. So there's lots of different ways you can mm -hmm. do it. So, you know, think about how you do off the edge the yeah. page. So we've done it. So this, this is literally my off the edge page. I love but that. then I thought, why not do a second page? I, and all the I outlines are done with the same pens. Yeah. And then I thought, why not show it that you can do it actually bigger? So mm. now I've created my three different pages. I love that. Um, to, so if a whole A4 page scares you, yeah. chop bits of it away and just little bits on. Now this could then turn around if you then got a ruler and drew lines, it mm -hmm. could become um, an art journaling. Yeah. Or actually, you know, a story. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, a memory, anything like that you want it to be, a diary. Mm -hmm. Photographs, it doesn't, it yes. could be a mixture of everything. But the pens, you know, when you consider, I've only used, what, one, two, well, very limited colour palette yeah. to create something as vibrant as that. And so it's five, I think I've pulled out one more, six colours, mm -hmm. and then you've got 72. You, know. you, know, you can imagine, by the time I've coloured these two in, mm -hmm. the vibrancy yeah. that you go along it would be, you know, go like, wow. Yeah, <laughs> lovely stuff. I'll do a little recap yep. then, because we've got more items for you on the show. But first, let me show you the um, colour swatch that Lou's done for us for the one-day special. The array of colours is absolutely beautiful. The different shades of greens, the different shades of purples and blues. You've got your neutrals, which are fantastic. So you've got your brush pen end, and then you've got your fine liner end. So you've got lots of scope to do different things. And then look at that. Isn't that, in, and they're so intense, but if you want to make them less intense, of course you can, just get your water brush there. And again, let me show you the samples that Lou's done. Because I, I can't, this is what I'm saying about how sometimes there'll be colouring books that put me off because of how diddy diddy the, the detail is. But with these fine liner nibs, you can get right in there. So each of those tiny, tiny scales, they've actually got two colours on them. There's orange and um, yellow, and there's some reds and some yellows. Absolutely beautiful, this one. Do I recognise this stamp? Is this one of Lynette? It is, I yes. thought so. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Hello, Lynette, if you're watching as well. And then here's the uh, journal. Look at all that. So you can see softening those beautiful colours. Marvellous. Or just leave them as intense <coughs> as you want. And then let's just show you one more. Again, you can see how fine you can go. Look at all those flecks there. Absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Now a third of the stock in just 33 minutes has now gone. We'll see about the stock for tomorrow. That's all I'll say. Uh, so you're getting your 72 piece pen set in a very wrappable tin. I love on the tin, as you showed earlier, mm -hmm. Lou, that you've even got all of the colours there. Lovely little colour chart. And all three tiers will stack inside each other. And you are getting the A4 sketch pad with 80 sheets in, 140 GSM. Uh, it's just an absolutely winning combination. Uh, as I said, the, um, if you wanted the 72 fine liner brush pen set on its own at the bottom of the screen, 59.99, but why go for that? when for £47.90 with a £25 saving, you'll then get your sketchbook added in. And we've got it on Flexi by two payments of £23.95. Um, Ross has just said in my ear, which is a good point. This feels like an early bird Black Friday deal. It actually, yeah. Yeah, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? Yes. Such good value. Uh, 377 843 is your item number. Now... If you want to just dip your toe into the world of these fine liner brush pens, then we've got a set of 24 for you. Um, again, just to reiterate, in case you're wondering, these colours will be in the 72 set. It's just a little taster. Again, as I like to say, a nice little stocking filler for you. Lou's done a nice little colour chart of what you've got in here. So I would say these are your core basic essentials that you would need. You've got your uh, yellows, your oranges, there's some browns in there, reds, pinks, a nice little um, blush tone, a few purples, 
the different greys, you've got a warm and a cool grey and a nice charcoal. And then we're, again, we're going down to some earthy tones, some greens, and then into all those different blues. But that's a nice little starter set, I would say. But for 24 pence, and it's only 12 pounds and 95 pence, here's a thought. If you're treating yourself to the one day special, your flexi buy is opened. And that means if you're thinking, oh, this would be a nice stocking filler for somebody else, then you're only going to pay, what is it, 6 50 today or £6.48 for your first instalment today. You'll get it in time for Christmas. Nice secret Santa gift as well. That's a good one. Um, so just saying, that's only £12.95 or... 6.48 if you pop it in with your one day special for your first instalment. Uh, 7.92380. Uh, then we've got a slightly larger set here. So this one is your 48 set. Um, and so you, again, we're starting to add a few more tones in here. You've got a few more skin tones, a few more yellows, a few more oranges, etc. Um, down here, hopefully you can see all right, because I don't, I know what I've done the last time. Several times I've been on and I've tipped them all over the floor, so I'm not going to do that. It's standard Alex, isn't it, Lou? Standard. <laughs> um, so you've got all of the blues, the greens, and then you've got lots and lots of neutral tones for you. That is £31.95. But thinking about that, really, if, that, if your outright cost is £31.95, what is it for an extra £10, maybe a bit more? What's the first flexi? What's the... No, first flexi buy. What am I talking about? That's only 20 three pounds and some change i'd go for that one because it's only two installments and then get the book as well uh, item number is five zero eight six eight five then we've got a pick and mix okay so you've done uh, thank you for doing the swatches now i can't get mixed up on these <laughs> right so we have got so you're getting sets you, you're getting six pens in each set there are six sets and you're choosing any three Hopefully that makes sense. So you've got your Marrakesh edition, um, and these have got slightly muted, softer they, tones. Yeah, they've tried to pick, um, they call these on the go sketch sets. Right. And what they've tried to do is pick colours that they think are representative of the different areas, the different countries, the mm. different towns that work together. Um, and, and that's how they've picked the colours they've got. None of the pens actually have um, names. Right. So I have put the numbers on there because oh, one or you. two might cross over. Right. Um, so oh, bless if, you, Lee. So if people wanted to, I just thought if people asked us any questions, yeah. it's easier then for you guys to be able to look at the cards and go, oh, that would cross over. Thank you. But yeah, just to say as well, if, you, if you're getting or you've already got the 72 piece, these colours will already be in there. Sorry, just for my own amusement. Can we just have a look <laughs> at this camel here? <laughs> Sorry, it's just for me. He's, he's loving life. He's loving being in Marrakesh. There you go. Sorry, that's just for my amusement. Uh, so that one's your Marrakesh with those nice neutral tones. Uh, and then here we've got the Venice edition. Still nice and soft, aren't they? I, th I feel. They are. Aqua but feel as well. It is because obviously they're the colour of the, the mm. water. But, and also because they water colour out, that's yep. why the blues and the, the, the colours for the buildings. Yes, nice. Uh, then you can go for something upside down. <laughs> <laughs> which is your uh, Amsterdam edition. That's really cool. And so you've got the yellows. Oh, now, is, is it a white that we get in here? It, it's, it's like a, an off-grey white. That's oh. one of the lightest colours that we've got. But it's a great one to add a very subtle shadow okay. to, to your work. So you probably can't see it, but it is there. Mm. Mm, lovely. Also, just for my own amusement, can we point them out? <laughs> Sorry, I am naughty. They're loving life as well, <laughs> having a little party. They are in Amsterdam. Um, then the next one, we're in New York. Um, OK, so we've got some earthy tones in this one, I feel. Yeah, so they've gone for more of the urban look. So some of the darker tones, some of the blues, some of the greens. Um, so a little bit of everything. So you've got the yellow there, mix it with the blue, and you've got now a, a different type of green. You know? So it was more about like an urban city yes. environment. That's nice. Uh, here we've got our Tokyo edition and we've got those beautiful pinks and again um, nice neutral tones in this one. Mm. Lovely. And then Rio de Janeiro. So we're going for a little party here, aren't we? But they are sort of slightly brighter colours. They are slightly brighter, but um, you know, a couple of the sets there that you know the, the colours are very similar. So mm -hmm. you've got a lighter and a dark as well yes. if you wanted to 
to do it that way as well. Nice. And then we're back to the beginning. So you are picking any three sets there. Um, oh, thank you. You've done some boards as well. No, I haven't swatched. This is me. I love a swatch. Mm -hmm. And these are actually swatches using some of the sets. I think I've written on there which ones they are. So you could see them because sometimes using... Oh, Rio de Janeiro. Rio, so you can actually see the, the colours. Because I think sometimes on a, the swatch, how I do it there, you can go, oh, I don't like those colours. But seeing them actually used in a different way, yeah. you can get a better idea. Nice. Um, and I'm, I think, is it the top one? New York. New York. Because New York. Yeah. the New York, as you were saying, looks quite dark. But actually, when you see it used, mm. it's quite bright and vibrant. It is, isn't it? Um, and then, what have we got here? Oh, so you've done a nice little sort of um, um, yeah. diary page there, a journal mm. page. And that, that's, um, I can't remember which one that is. Does it say? I think I've written oh, it in the bottom. Venice. Venice, that's So I just one. wanted to show... Also, it shows you how, you know, depending, like you were saying, if you're into your bullet journals and your happy planners. Mm. So that was just using those colours to create each of those. Nice. Thank you. All right, then. So any three, any three sets for 11.85. Again, such good value. Um, 797738 is your item number. Now we're coming on to the fine liner. So this is pure fine liner, isn't it? No brush end. No, no okay. brush end. Uh, so this is the one that uh, Louisa was asking about. You've got a set of 24. And again, thank you, Lee. You've done a nice swatch for us so we can show you what you're getting. Uh, really, again, another bargain price, 9 95 I can't get over the value. I know. It's, it's phenomenal, isn't it? It is, absolutely. Um, so you've got yellows, oranges, lovely pinks and um, so you can see the literally the detail of the fine line those lovely little dots that you can do as well when you doodle mm. good stuff that's 9.95 then for a set of 24 of your pure fine liners uh, 139 at 571 and then we've got a set of 36 again these are your fine liners um, wonderful array of colours once more. So it depends. If you're someone that just can't get on with the brush end, just go for this. Go for that. Yeah, because, I mean, we all use them in different ways. I mean, if you're a bit of a... a I use my pencil cases I still have from school, and that's two years old ago. But, you know, if you're a bit of a stationary person and mm -hmm. like to write in lots of different colours, yes. the fine liner... You know, it's absolutely, you know, perfect for that. And that set comes in a beautiful tin. It does. As Same well. again. Very wrappable box. Uh, 18 pounds, that's my mantra, that. 18 pounds and 95 pence, 836 120. Now, you might prefer pencils to pens. We have got some watercolour pencils as well. Again, by Brunzeal. Um, now, you've got a set of 24. Um, and again, you can use your water brushes with them, can't you? Really flow the colour out. Yeah, I mean, you can actually lay down your colour, blend with them like you would do a normal pencil, and then brush them out that way, put them down individually mm -hmm. and, and blend them out. Yes. Um, if you don't want to blend them out, use them as a normal pencil mm -hmm. and, and colour and layer your colour and layer your depth up that yep. way. Once they're dry, you can then go in with another colour. Mm -hmm. If you don't water reactive, you then created... A, a depth layer that way as well. Good, good. That's fifteen ninety nine with a four pound saving. Three one zero six one zero. Now the tortillons. For anybody who's not seen these, what do we do with them? Tortillons can be used. Oh, they can be used in so many different ways. They're used to blend pencils out if mm -hmm. you didn't want to use a paintbrush. So you can dip them into lots of different media out there to blend a normal pencil, yeah. as we were called, or you could. Um, slightly wet the edge and you could blend it out with the watercolour. Right. Um, so they're a blending tool. They're a paper stub which you can sharpen and, and you can create beautiful soft blending, um, you know, blending through the different stages with it. You can burnish, which means uh, you can then put your pencil down and really blend out quite hard. Mm -hmm. And you can burnish the colour, which gives it a nice sheen to it. Yes. Um, it's then harder then to go over the top. Mm -hmm. um, again with more colour but they are they are a, a little you'll find them used not just with pencils people will use them across a wide range of media yes. uh, as well I mean I've actually used them by dipping into blending solution and with my alcohol inks yeah so I can actually then create more pattern with my alcohol ink mm -hmm. as well 
So they are, they are a really cool tool. Why do I have a feeling, and I might be talking absolute rubbish here, that I've also seen them dipped in with glycerin? And, yep, yeah. glycerin and blended out. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, um, you can get some other art mediums as well that you can dip in. Mm -hmm. um, you'll normally find that a lot of people, what they'll do is put a little sponge and put their meat, whether it's water, glycerin, mm. um, and they'll then dip it in that way so you don't overly soak it. Right. Um, and then, you know, once it gets really grubby and horrible, if if it bothers you, yeah. you can then sharpen the end or nice. use a knife on it and, and carry on until you get less, li literally left with nothing, nothing yeah, at yeah. all. Well, <laughs> I mean, these are going to last you because you're not getting one, you're getting 12. Wow. A set of 12. Again, you could divvy those up, couldn't you? Or, I tell you what, if you're running workshops, everybody gets one then. Oh, Just well, that's a, thought. a brilliant idea. Yeah. yeah. There you go. I've had a good idea. Um, <laughs> right, so if you'd like those, £18.40, £5 pound saving, 041387. And then last but not least, we have the... OK, this one's a really nice one. This is um, the... How many pieces did we say? 70 piece, but you've got different types of pencils. Right, OK. <laughs> this, yes. Um, Bruns and Neil brought out what they called special edition tins, mm -hmm. and they wanted to be able to... For people who wanted to try, a, so for your Institute of Pencils, a bit of all their pencil range. So in that you've got um, four different types of drawing pencils, graphite pencils. Oh. So, the, so you've got your drawing there. I think it's, um, I'm trying to think, you've got an HB, a 2B and a 2H off the top of my head. You'll have 32, they're highly pigmented pencils. Yeah. You've got 12 metallics. Yeah. And uh, you've got 18 watercolour. Yeah. One brush. Oh, wait, there we are. There's the metallics. Yep. Yeah. One brush. Two sharpeners. So you've got two different size sharpeners there. Yeah. And one eraser. Amazing. That's such a good deal. Is it? Am I? Have I got this right? Hang on. Have we got two tiers here? Yes. Ah, oh, this is why I was looking for. So hang on. And it's got that little lift mm. there. There we go, because I was looking for the graphites and all that. I was thinking, I can't see them there, so I think they're in here. There we go. Yeah, so I think those are the ones. Those are the, your graphites. There you go. And then we move through to all of those different colours. Oh, that's a bright yellow. I don't mm. know if you can see that from there, Lou. And, and they're highly pigmented yeah. um, colours. And they're beautiful. And, and the colours all the way through to the core with a, a sort of thing. And they're forest friendly wood you know because they have thought about that size so you've got a really good it's a great starting point to actually dip your toe into the world of pencils yes from regular pencils metallics to watercolor i mean your metallics will blend with your normal pencil so you good. suddenly change it again and i love the metallics on um black cardstock actually craft as well oh they're nice mm. yes Good stuff, right? Thirty-five pounds and ninety-five pence with a ten-pound saving for that set. Uh, Six one eight three five four. But back to the one-day special. We are now approaching forty percent of the stock gone in the first live hour. Uh, you've got a massive twenty-five pound saving. It's forty-seven pounds and ninety pence, and you've got it on flexi buy. Uh, your item number is three seven seven eight four three. Your flexi buy payment. Your first instalment is twenty-three pounds and ninety-five pence, and we will send it out to you on that first instalment in time for Christmas. Uh, yes, twenty-three ninety-five for your first instalment. Right then, Lou, I don't know where this hour's gone, but we've only got about nine minutes. Right, um, I'm really conscious that I want people to think about their books, not just for art journaling. Sure. So I've actually done, split this into four, and created four different card fronts. So using different stamps that I've got, and it's playing with my different ideas, how I want to layer them up, the colours I want to use. And then I've got this as a reference. Yeah. Or you could do it the reverse way round. You could make your card and then either, you know, redo it in a journal to keep it if you were asked to reproduce it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to work with this beautiful image down here. So I'm just going to push it up a little bit. So with the fine liner pens, I can now go in and I can create all my colour. And all I'm you doing is, is little lines. Now mm. I can colour solidly with them. Yeah. And oh, I'm lost now. You know when you're just in, in the world of oh, colour now. Oh, I know. Now. And you, she's such a beautiful image, isn't she? She is stunning. Mm. So we've got that there. Now I, if I grab a little bit of a 
darker. We have so many, you know when you have so many choices of colour? Mm. Oh, um, I love it. And then I can go with a darker pink and add a little bit of definition straight away. Mm. Or like you were saying, the tiny little, if you don't want to do lines, just doing the tiny little dots. Yes. Do you to know, add I, the shading. I definitely think it's worth when people get this home to do their own colour swatch. I'm, I'm, I love a colour swatch. Well, I just think, and then if they can keep them in order and then you know exactly what colour you're going to get. Yeah. Also, if, if you're not a colour swatch person, if you go to the Royal Talons uh, website, oh, okay. go and look under Bruns and Eel, and they have kindly done a colour swatch that you can print off. Now, the only thing you've got to remember is that mm -hmm. obviously each of our printers print off differently, but it still yes. gives you an idea of um, you know the colours that you have actually got, and it's a great starting point. Also underneath the Bruns Neal section is they've given you ideas of how you can use the pens. I think there's a, a colouring page that you can print off. Oh, that's great. Um, you know, lots of different ideas and inspiration there. You, I mean, as I said, the pens don't have um, names, which is great, because can you imagine trying to say 72 different names? Um, they have numbers, but then you can actually see all the different numbers yeah. that correspond. So I'm now just gone over with a tiny little bit of the brown. So you can, you know, carry on building. I can still use the brush on it. So I split this up into four different card designs, and that's where I got the dragon from there. Yep. Yeah. So I won't colour all this one because you'll have lost me then for the rest of the mm -hmm. hour. So I can do some of these slightly darker. Do you colour every day, Lou? Yeah. How, do you, like, what, what do you reckon is the longest stint you've ever done? Oh. Oh, I don't know. I will, I'm dreadful. I'll go start colouring something and then an idea will pop into my head. Yeah. So I'll have to grab another book. That's yeah. why I have multiple books because I'll have to do that, plan that idea out and yeah. then I can go back to that bit of colouring. Oh, I love it. But you were talking about, we've got some really beautiful light colours. I'm just oh, going to yes. grab this one here, you know, as a skin tone. Mm. And, you know, we can, you don't have to add much more colour. I would spend a little bit more time can on you, it. Can you blend them in the same fashion that you can with alcohol markers? Um, you can, but because they dry quickly, mm -hmm. not quite as much. So I'm just going to now, I've taken the same colour and a water brush pen. Okay. And I'm just now going to blend it. Oh, I see. Lovely. So you can blend it out there. Now this isn't this is from the books. So this isn't watercolor paper. Once this is dry, yeah. I would then put another different layer on. Mhm. Mm nice. So it as I say, we can carry on and on from there. So I've, I've got my image there and I would um, add, I've got to do a hair, but I'll do them after the show. Sure. But what I can do is I'm using Lynette's drawing guides as well. But so you, I can now with the fine liners, so I've got this here, I can now decide, you know, what color I'd like to go around the edge. So I'm mm. thinking of a blue. I don't want the brush, I want the fine liner. So. I, I can now, you know, you see all the different stencils that you've got. You can now draw inside all of the different stencils to create. Mm -hmm. so. And it is a great way to keep, we, we, we make some beautiful cards mm. and not everybody's up to sharing them. Yeah. Um, and I appreciate that, but why not catalogue your cards and have fun doing it? Mm. Or the designs that, you, that look, work beautifully for you? So, and also, I was just going to show you because it does. I mean, the fine liners. These dots here, you know, you can go in. And I can carry on building around the outside and I could mm. even go in between there and do even finer little dots. Yeah. So, this was me now. Oh, I quite like that now. I'm going to have to finish that later. <laughs> you know when you go, I quite like that. Yeah. Um, but, so now you've got these are ideas for you to actually use or use them as colour references. If you're not sure which colours would go together, mm -hmm. suddenly you can use them as colour references, um, you know, straight away. Mm -hmm. The ink will blend out, but not as much. Oh, it would help if I clean my pen off, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, but as you can see, it's dry now, so mm -hmm. it's not going to blend out as much. If you did it when it was wet, that's why it's better to actually put them, if you put it on a block... I can go back in now. Um, I can start adding a little bit more definition and colour. 
using the the brush onto mm. a block and oh, I said this paper lovely. isn't watercolour and it's doing really well actually. It is isn't it yeah absolutely. So that's how I got the inspiration for the dragon card was yeah. actually starting to work out the design on this page here. Uh -huh. So I could take that card I've made now I know that the diamond wasn't the one I ended up using in the end I ended up using a heart design you on did, it. Yes. Um, but I could play around with my colour choices. You could do it so it could have been a page of four of the dragons and coloured each one differently like blues and greens. I love that idea. Um, pinks and purples like we did mm. the yellow and oranges yes. greys mm -hmm. and Why then not? you know on a yellow background so suddenly he's in the dark night sky or you know Ooh. that sort of thing yes but don't think of your journals just for you know using think about how you create and how you use it as a catalogue use it as an idea resource mm. and some way to say it. yeah lovely okay let me show you then back to the color chart um, it has been flying out the door our one day special have a look at these so the top three using that brush nib and then you've got the fine liner nib but you can see that wonderful array of colors uh, it literally is th the colors of the rainbow and more and all the shades in between and then let's do this one here uh, here you've got your neutrals your greens your blues absolutely stunning these Okie dokie, so one last look for now. We are approaching, you know, 40% of the stock gone after just one hour. Now we're supposed to have four more live hours, so we'll see how we go. You've got the three lovely tiers. They all stack beautifully inside the tin that it comes in, and it's a tin. There we go, so it's gonna be nice and sturdy. Uh, let's have a little whiz through then one more time. We've got our fabulous uh, neutrals that we'll always need, won't we? Uh, neutrals, moving through to, you've got that off-white that's there, the, all the browns and the tans. Then we've got the, all through to the greens. And then should we come down here? Then we've got our beautiful blues, aquas, purples and your pinks. And then into our lovely yellows, oranges, reds, pinks. So at the bottom of the screen, we've sort of price established how much it would be for the 72 pen set, which is 59.95. But you are saving 25 pounds and it's on Flexi Buy, and you will get your A4 sketchbook. Uh, so it's 47.90. Uh, you can spread the cost two payments of 23.95 and it's 377843. Thanks Lou as always really enjoyed that she's just carrying on there she is. We will see you, you in an hour's time then. Yes. Lovely. Please check this out. It's a brilliant gift for yourself or a brilliant gift for somebody else at Christmas and they will absolutely 